Welcome to everyone. My name is Leonardo Lanzi and I am the coordinator of the GAR cybersecurity team. This short video is about system hardening. If you search, for example, on Google, the terms cybersecurity data breaches, you find this sentence hundreds of thousands of times. It seems that now it is globally accepted that any operating system will be, sooner or later, cracked, and not only by the vendors of the right solution. The mission of system hardening is to reduce the vulnerability surface. Another famous sentence about system security states that the computer is secure only when it is switched off and locked inside the safe. Do you think I'm joking? That's how you must keep the laptop user to sign digital certificates, but only if you are a certification authority. It is anyhow extremely important to remember the access code, and obviously check often the battery life. They are usually in sight. Systems are immersed on the internet, hence exposed to a mess of attack possibilities, worse than your worst nightmares. Defense against attacks are often entrusted to the external network levels. You ask the router to permit only specific types of inbound connection. Then, just a bit inside, you configure rules on firewall and possibly on a network address translation device. IPs are private, so you feel more safe and clean in this environment. But what if all these walls fall down? You are alone in the inner tower. Your operating system must stand. Define and implement standard configurations and systems hardening policies. Uninstall unnecessary software and disable unnecessary services. Share only necessary hardware resources and protect them. Prevent changes to the configuration or installation of software. Correct default software and hardware configurations. Configure clients and servers to use only encrypted protocols. Local install antivirus software with auto-update on, firewall and intrusion prevention system, install a web application firewall on web servers, and disable automatic execution of contents when connected removable devices. Automatic execution of dynamic contents in files, turn off automatic opening of emails. Disable automatic preview of file contents. Before connecting a new device to the network, replace default administrative credentials with safe values. On the following two slides, I will show you some tips to protect your personal devices. Use encryption to protect your data, even if you are going to reset the smartphone. Do not install software from untrusted sources. Check and understand application permissions. Pay attention to the data on your dismissed devices. If the device is lost or stolen, wipe your data remotely. All producers allow to configure it. Prefer a passcode or passphrase to protect the device. A good password, a non-trivial sequence, is a bit boring, but safer than new biometric access controls. Turn on the Bluetooth only when needed. Avoid connecting to unknown wireless networks. Keep all devices updated with the latest operating system version. Backup your data. Avoid storing credentials on the device or in the browser. Don't root or jailbreak the device. ICT security is a continuous process, at least because every day new security threats appear and the other ones evolve. System hardening concerns the inner parts of the overall infrastructures, and it cannot be an exception. There are some specific systems or applications for which special and custom techniques need to be used. Two enhanced ways to address possible system security problems are vulnerability assessments and penetration testings. Vulnerability assessments are generally performed by means of different and complex applications that can check a galaxy of known vulnerabilities against a single IP. For example, the database of one of the most used framework, OpenVAS, contains near half a million of entries. Even such firepower cannot be enough if your application is customized or is a unique release. 
In this case, all the specialized efforts and tests built directly against your software and performed acting like a heavy hacker can disguise your hidden security problems. That's all for now. Bye bye!